How important is referrals for a business? Vital. Uh, I used to have a good dog food business. In my dog food business, one of the biggest reasons it was successful was referrals. We would ask every customer to give us referrals. We would offer them things for referrals. Every month, we'd make a different referral offer. How many referral campaigns are you allowed to run in a business? As many as you want. Why does it equal one or none for most companies then? You know, referrals is something you've got to be proactive with, not reactive. You don't wait for them. You've got to ask for these sorts of things. In um, our beauty salons, that was a great one. Every time someone gave us a referral, we would send them a bottle of French champagne. And, they were, and, and what, ladies, if you got sent a bottle of French champagne for referring someone to your beautician, would you probably refer a few more people, yes or no? You'd be halfway through the bottle drunk texting immediately, wouldn't you? Yeah, in fact, in that business, that was a funny one. My staff called me one day and said, hey, boss, we got a problem with the referral thing. I said, what's that? She said, we got one lady, we're sending her a case of champagne a week. So what, what do you mean you send her? She sent us a lot of referrals. I said, what, is she an alcoholic or something? What's going on in this thing? It turns out she owns a restaurant. She's referring her customers to us and she's collecting the champagne and selling it in her restaurant for a profit. <laughs> it's like, I, went, I, le- I actually went and met with her and found out what else do you do? You're a genius. I want to copy your stuff. You know, you think about your referral campaigns. How are you asking for referrals? What are you doing with referrals? You've got to make sure you're doing it. Four key things with referrals. Number one, make it easy for them to refer. You've got to give them a card or a something so that's easy for them to refer. Give them something they can give their friends, something how they can invite their friends to something. Okay, that's how you make it easy for them. Number two, reward referrals. If someone sends you a referral, Give them a gift. At least send them a thank you note, okay? At least send them a card or something, but reward them for referrals. Uh, In our dog food business, we literally had it that if you referred someone to us that became a customer, our standing offer was we would give you one week's dog food for free. They would get one for free, the new customer, and you would get one week for free. We literally had one little old lady who never paid for dog food for three years, she, could, she would go to dog parks, dog shows, dog walks, dog runs. She would hand stuff out to them, our brochures. She would come into our office every other month and get new brochures to hand out to people. And she, like, she'd come in and apologise and be like, oh, I'm so sorry for taking advantage of you like this, I know, but you made the offer. And it's like, yeah, this is really tough. Keep taking advantage of me. <laughs> yeah, I like being taken advantage of. Go. You know, and she had this tiny little dog. It cost us six bucks a week in food, six dollars out, and we made thirty-eight dollars profit every new customer first sale. But we kept our customers three years. Our customers, on average, gave us two referrals a piece. So think about that for a second. On average, they gave us two referrals a piece. So that customer, they referred two people. What did those two people do? On average, gave us two more referrals. On average, gave us. So what's our customers worth if you get referrals working really well? Customers make you a fortune if you get referrals working really well.